Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And today we're going to be talking about uh, different types of snares made of different types of metals. We've got two types of uh, material, two types of finishes of the material. Uh, you either have seamless or you have hammered. Seamless shells uh, they usually spun to like a really accurate degree of precision and they're finished off really smooth and um, the interior is just really clean. Um, as opposed to, say for instance, uh, something hammered and without the, or with the seam in, in, involved, the air gets into different places so it responds differently. So usually ones that are hammered <coughs> have a slightly uh, softer response um, edge to it than you would uh, have uh, for a smooth drum which is usually louder because of the way that um, it resonates when you hit the actual drum itself. Um, have you getting this so far? Yeah. So uh, first off uh, we're going to talk about aluminium snares just briefly. Um, the overview of it is that they use in a load of stuff. They use on MacBooks, they use sometimes on stuff like this. They're very light and malleable. That's the uh, sort of quality of uh, aluminium. Very easy to shape and very easy to transport. Hence makes it quite uh, popular among some people. See that? That wasn't just me flexing my muscles and uh, you know trying to be a big man. But it's actually that light. So they're very easy to maintain as opposed to other materials because aluminium keeps over the years um, and some of the best known drums are made from that. So you have we've got this uh, Gretsch acrylic, uh, uh, sorry, Gretsch uh, aluminium here and you also have like, you know, ones like that, call that. And these, the response you'll get from these is it's quite an airy, dry sound, um, you know, and it's, it, it bites quite nicely, so you know it's it's it it really does get to the point out of the way. You know? So if you like that sort of stuff for your sound, this is the one for you. Okay, so next up we've got the steel snare. I'm using a uh, Tama SLP. Um, the snare cracks like anything. And the thing about steel um, is that you've got a good mix of treble, highs and lows in the same you know, object. Um, as you can see, this is, this is hammered, so it takes a bit of the edge off, but very lightly hammered as opposed to, you know, like that aggressive hammering. It's got quite a nice finish. And steel snares were usually are, are even now associated with uh, uh, you know intermediate level drums and um, you can have some really decent shells with cheaper throws on them and hardware on them etc um, this one is no different really it's an intermediate uh, snare but it sounds it sounds beast it sounds beast you just need to crack that up so one I could suggest um, that would be on a part of this would be the Apex Tomahawk it's kind of the same quality as maybe a different finish. Um, and like I said, they, they buy it quite, quite nicely as well. Um, and you can really, you know, you've got a good ring out of it. It opens up a bit more than aluminium. It's got uh, more sustain in general. And, um, but they are susceptible to rust. So if you leave them outside, obviously they will rust. If you leave them in a, in a, in a shed or whatnot, they won't keep as nicely. As, um, as, for instance, an aluminium snare would, but who's going to leave it just in the shed? Really. So uh, that's what you got there. You're going to hear that next.
So you've got those two different aspects to look at when you're when you're buying a drum. Um, they're obviously different price points, uh, different shapes and sizes, different different sizes definitely um, will determine the sound of that particular drum. But there you've got two things to go for if you want you know something seamless as opposed to something with uh, loops in it.